Hello everyone and welcome back again. So I'm here with a haul from Beads and Scents and I placed this order before I left on vacation and I told Jesse, Jesse, I'm going to be gone for seven days. Can you please, because she's ready to ship. So I said, can you please hold these till this date when I'll come back? And she was amazing. Um, took the payment. When I came back, as soon as the ship docked back and the phone connection came in, got an email saying click and ship your item will arrive on the 7th which is today so i didn't even have to remind her that i was here she like calculated when to ship to when it would arrive awesome thank you jesse i really appreciate that by the way you guys this is for the halloween sampler that she was selling um she posted on her facebook page so if you're not on her facebook group go ahead and request to be and to be um just log on to facebook and then in the search bar just put beads and scents and you should get the like page and like it and you can also request to be a member on her group page that's when you'll find out about things like this or flash sales i know they just had some of those too so anyways with beads and scents um you can always do the refer a friend which you get 10 percent off you or your friend get 10 percent off every time you shop and the code is just FRIEND10, and it's all in caps. And by the way, I just placed another order with them, like, last night, I think, or the night before, in the middle of the night, like, 1 o'clock in the morning. Insomniac. Um, and I forgot to use the code. So don't be a dummy like me, and put the code in there. Um, they are ready to ship company, so you're not going to have all of the selections. You can only purchase what's available at that time. But the good thing is there's no waiting. You'll get your stuff super quick. So the back of the card just says, like us on Facebook for new product previews, flash sales, announcement, promo codes, price, and giveaways. So go like them on Facebook. Um, like I said, this is the Halloween sampler. I think it was $35 shipped for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven cents, I think. Eleven cents, and then she gave me three samples, and these scents are just for Halloween, so I'm not a huge bakery fan. You guys know that I like the fresh scents, and they have one called Gold Strike and Sunrise, which I'm obsessed with, but it's not available online right now. So it was a risk for me to get the sampler because Halloween scents usually have a lot of caramel, chocolate, all that stuff, but I'm surprised. I actually really like them. So let me tell you what I got as a sample. I got a sample in pineapple and I'm not really going to describe it to you because it's pineapple. <laughs> so it's in the Florida Lee which I love and it's just so cute and just a nice fresh sweet pineapple scent. So I like it and I'm going to let these cure um, probably about three weeks maybe even a month because I have a lot of wax. I just want to make sure that I get the best centro out of them and I really liked what I got on my last order so I really want to make sure that I get the most out of them. Then I got a vanilla pumpkin pie. I don't think she has these on the scent list yet because I guess these are just samples to try out. So vanilla pumpkin pie and they use very soft wax so you will see always a lot of residue in the baggies. The stuff didn't sit in the mail at all. The mail lady like I was driving in as soon as she pulled out, honked the horn, and asked me to come out and get it. So went from the truck to my hand. And this is just a nice pumpkin. Um, it's not a spicy pumpkin at all. It's really what I've been looking for. I don't know if I get the bakery scent of the crust, which to me is A-OK -okay, because I don't like I'm not into bakery. But it's a nice, sweet pumpkin. That's it. Nice, sweet pumpkin. I'm sure that vanilla helps. And the next one, I'm also going to check, make sure, nope, they don't have it. Creamy orange colada. So I don't know, I'm obviously thinking it's some type of orange bakery type of thing. It's a creamy orange with a colada, which probably like pineapples and, and coconut. It smells really good. I get, I definitely get like a drink scent and that orange scent. I get orange and a drink. 
maybe some coconut. I can tell once this cure, I just got this today, you guys. So it literally has not cured at all. I can tell you once this cures, this stuff is going to be good. That cream orange colada smells good. Okay, so these were all poured on September 13th. So I probably could melt them, but I'm going to give them some more time. The first one in my sampler is Ghost in the oak and i'll tell you what i love this one this one is pumpkin spiced glazed donuts and powdered sugar now i would have never thought it was that um I, this is my first time looking at the scent description this smells oaky to me like outdoorsy let me smell it again i smell an oak but it's pumpkin spice glazed donut and powdered sugar this smells so good Probably one of my favorite from the orders, actually. Now I get it. The oak that I thought was a, a wood scent, it's the pumpkin spice. It's very, very good. Everything blends together so well. It just smells like a nice, actually like a great fall outdoor scent. It's that pumpkin spice. This is very, very good. I'm surprised. And this is one that I would like to purchase more. And Jesse and Steven, I believe is his name. Um, keep this scent around. Keep it till at least till um, when you're ready to start putting some winter scents out. Because I think this is going to be a big hit with you guys. I think people will actually order. Um, my only wish, um, I know... I know you guys are a new company and you have to start small. You can't go out and start buying all the stuff. You got to make some money too before you waste it all, you know, get what I mean. But I would like to have more selection available. I really like your products. I just ordered again last night and I was sitting there going, oh, I don't want to pay shipping for, for just this. I know we pay actual shipping. But it's still, like, it's always in the back of my mind. Like, I want a big order. I think I only got maybe, like, five or six items on the next order. So if you guys could have more selection, I know you both probably work full times and it's hard, but please, please, I would love that. I would love to be able to just order more at a time. Marie, I'm going to kill this. Don't, don't be upset. Marine Laveau, Laveau. Is that French? I think so. So Marie Laveau, I'm probably killing that. Um, don't be upset. Jelly beans and whipped cream. I thought this had grape in it. Is it grape jelly beans maybe? <clears throat> when I first smelled it, I was like, eh, grape. I'm not a grape lover. But the more I smell it, the more I like the scent. It must be a grape jelly bean. It's so good though. You get that whipped cream and you get the candy scent. So I like this one. Um, it's not a favorite. I can't say if I will repurchase, but I think this one might surprise me. I think I might be very surprised with this one. I actually like it. And everything smells super strong right now. This is, <clears throat> listen, these names need to be Brazilian proof. I can't say them and I feel like I'm gonna look like a fool. Crew of Boo? Crew Boo? K R E W E? Crew Boo? Crew -y of Boo? <laughs> Whatever. Oh, am I showing you guys the chunks? I don't wanna take them out of the bag because they're a little bit um, residue y. This is just a beautiful purple with white chunks. This one was a nice white with um, orange and brown chunks. You see that? Next, I'll show it to you when the bag is open. So, crew of Boo, it's pumpkin spice and maple pancakes. See, this is what I was afraid of. Pancakes. Pancakes, caramel scents. I don't like those scents. But, that pumpkin spice that she has is so good. It's not like, I don't like spicy scents, but her pumpkin spice is really, really good. It's good, but it's not one of those, like, kill your nostril pumpkin spice where it's just, like, cinnamon. You know, it's really good. 
It actually smells like real pumpkin pie, like a real pumpkin spice. So I really like it. The pancake, I can first, I can smell it when I first open. And the more and more I, I take whiffs of it, the less and less of the pancake I smell and more of the pumpkin. So I can tell I'm going to like this one a lot. And that's just brown. I'm not going to take this out because last time I took it out and I had wax everywhere. I'll just do it like this. Can you see better like this? It's just brown with orange chunks. And the chunks are throughout the whole thing. Jesse. No, I love you, right? But I know you guys probably got to go through the supply. But once you're done with your supply, let's work on a more user-friendly bagging way. These twisty ties are like... <clears throat> and the baggies. Just maybe like bigger Ziploc or resealable, resealable bags that we could just... So we could take them out, you know... You know we like to show those chunks to everybody and, and people like to see them. So please, please, please make it easier on me. Voodoo doll. Voodoo doll. Strawberry and rainbow taffy. No wonder I like this one. Voodoo doll. It's really pretty. Yellow with pink chunks. See, I want to take this out to show everybody. But I can't. I, it's just too messy. Too much like to grab and this one the strawberry is really good the rainbow taffy is very um taffy like it smells exactly like taffy taffy is not my favorite scent or my favorite candy but i'm gonna give this a try because first of all it looks beautiful <laughs> And then it smells really strong. I took it out. I couldn't help it. Look at how beautiful that is. Amazing. Love this one. So this was Voodoo Doll. Strawberry and Rainbow Taffy. And this is why I don't want to take them out. I got wax everywhere. And it's really, really hard to put them back in these bags. Dang it. Here goes another long video. This video should have not been long. I blame Jesse on this, making me have to like jump through hoops to get these things out of these baggies. The Myrtles. <clears throat> candy corn and buttercream. Ooh, I like me some candy corn. Buttercream, not so much. The candy corn. I need to get I know I can't. I need to be good. And I get the candy corn for sure, and I do get that buttercream, but it's not overpowering. So this smells really good, and I think I'm, I'm going to really like it. And it's orange with white. I love how the colors are perfect for Halloween. There's one here that I swear there's licorice in it, and if there's licorice in it, I'm really not going to melt it. I, I can t I don't know, just smells like licorice, and I, like, load licorice. The Bony Pile. The Bony Pile is pump, and how cute are these names? Bony Pile is pumpkin spice and chocolate. This, I knew there was chocolate in it. So, the Bony Pile. I'm not even showing you the names. I'm just a mess. I'm just trying to get done, because I got a lot of stuff to do still. I only have one more day off before I go back to work. And this one, the pumpkin spice is almost non-existent, at least to my nose right now. The chocolate is there. But I think, again, I'm going to like it. I told you guys, these are scents that I was like, mm, but I'm surprised. Like, they've blended this really well. And too bad I don't live in Louisiana because I would like to be your partner. You guys are so smart. That was weird. I just always wanted to make wax, but I'm too lazy to do it. But this smells amazing. The bony pile is good. It's like a milk chocolate, I would say. But it's not one of those milk chocolates that you're like, Ugh, chocolate. You know? It's pretty good. Pretty, 
pretty pretty good. St. Louis Cemetery. Scary. Ooh. I've been to the St. Louis Cemetery. I've been to New Orleans. I loved it. Vanilla pumpkin pie and caramel apple. Wouldn't be complete without a caramel apple scent. Oh, by the way, Isabella's going to be Mickey, Minnie Mouse for Halloween. She's so cute. And this... This to me smells a lot like Hocus Pocus from Tiffany Candles. I really like it. Really, really like it. So this is just a orange with pink, pink chunks. Look at that. Can you see that? Of course you can't. But it's beautiful. Trust me. Trust me. I'm going to start um, really, really going hard on my Instagram again. I know I've been slacking. And taking pictures of my wax. So you guys will see these all up and close and personal when I'm melting them. This is the one that I swear there's black licorice. This is Roguru. Another name. Hmm? Licorice and toasted marshmallow. No. So that's what it looks like. Whatever. Roguru. I think this one I'm going to have to save for my 1,000 subscribers giveaway or for my stash or something. I just can't. I can't do licorice. I can't. Like, as soon as I open that bag, I know it's licorice. The toasted marshmallow smells delicious. The licorice just... Reminds me of every single time, every single time I dig into a bag of jelly beans and I'm so excited and I don't look at what I'm picking and I put that black licorice jelly bean in my mouth and it just ruins my whole jelly bean bag for me. So, vampire ball. Oh my god, I thought it said vampire balls. <laughs> the vampire ball. Pumpkin creme brulee and eggnog. That sounds fabulous. Let's smell that. These are all, I think, cured. But I don't want to melt them yet. I want to make sure they're cured like forever. Because they smell really good. Mm, this is really good. I get pumpkin creme brulee and I definitely get eggnog. So good. And it's white with orange chunks. Oh, so good, girl. Please, please, please pull some more scents so I can buy some more. But not just of these. I want the regular ones, too. French Men's Street Brew. Black coffee and pumpkin spice. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So French, French Men's Street Brew. This smells like coffee. Wow, it's a very strong coffee. It's actually good. The pumpkin spice is there. It's definitely overpowered right now. I don't know when I melt it by the black coffee. But it's a very, like, new scent to me, so. I'm, I'm excited to actually try it. And that's just like a brown, brownish, and orange chunks. And the, I saved my favorite for last. And I was so surprised. Wax. So surprised that this was my favorite. Because it's just not usually my type of scent. But this is awesome. Haunted Corn Maze. Haunted Corn Maze. What's in this? My back hurts. No way that this is my favorite. This just tells you you can't go by the scent. Caramel apples and caramel popcorn. Two things that I would never choose as scents. And this is my favorite out of the whole order. And there's no corn in here. Like, well, I guess popcorn. <laughs> This smells so good. I have a feeling that Jenna, Miss Micey, I have a feeling you would love this scent. You better contact Miss Jessie and see if she's got some. Because you, who are obsessed with 
the boardwalk, is that what it's called? Or boardwalk. From Bath and Body Works. This is better. You get the caramel apple, but you get the butter in. Mm. You get like the caramel popcorn and it's buttery even though you don't put butter on caramel popcorn. I don't understand what's going on here. But this is really good. And it's another brown with orange. So I love beads and scents. You guys know that. I think um, they're a great company. I love that they're chunky tarts because I love chunky tarts. I do not like I love the idea of the company. I love the names. The names are super unique. It's so much cooler to buy haunted corn maze than to buy caramel, apple, pumpkin, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so much cooler. They're so creative. They're so smart to even sit there and have the time to think about these things. I have no patience for this stuff. Um, I just want different bags. Aside from that, oh, and more stuff posted, more stuff posted. Aside from that, I love you guys. You're amazing, and I'm thrilled that I got the sampler, even though I was like, something in the back of my head was like, don't do it, don't do it, you don't like fall and winter and blah, 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 whatever, mumbling. I swear it's water in this cup. But anyways, I love you guys. Um, everybody, please like, comment, and subscribe. Everybody go hound Jesse and Steven on their Facebook group for them to post more stuff for us so we can buy it. Love you. Bye.